नमस्कार मैं हूँ राजनंदनी शर्मा और आप देख रहे हैं वीकली राउंडअप वीकली राउंडअप में हर हफ्ते में आपके लिए ढेर सारे इवेंट्स प्रोग्राम्स कुछ न्यूज कुछ ऐसी खबरें जो इंडियन डायस्पोरा से रिलेटेड होती है वो लेकर आती हूँ इस हफ्ते भी मैं आपके लिए कुछ ऐसे ही प्रोग्राम्स और इवेंट्स लेकर आई हूँ आइए बिना देरी के शुरू करते हैं सबसे पहले मैं शुरू करना चाहूंगी हाल ही में हाउस ऑफ लॉर्ड्स में ग्लोबल ब्रिलियंस अवार्ड किया गया IISF एक फाउंडेशन है उन्होंने ये अवार्ड सेरेमनी कराई और ग्लोबल ब्रिलियंस अवार्ड्स करवाए जहां पर इंडियन कम्युनिटी के जितने भी लोग हैं जो हर सेक्टर में कुछ ना कुछ उन्होंने अचीव किया है या कुछ ना कुछ वो कर रहे हैं तो उसके रिगार्डिंग उनको एक अप्रिसिएशन के तौर पे अवार्ड दिए गए आपके सामने कुछ ऐसी झलक दिखाना चाहूंगी मैं उस अवार्ड फंक्शन की क्योंकि साथ ही साथ वहां पर हरीश नड्डा जो चीफ गेस्ट थे वो मौजूद रहे विकल्प सिंह मौजूद रहे आइए देखते हैं क्या कुछ हुआ उस इवेंट में I might be younger than you in age, but the love and affection you've given me and treated me as a guest, I'm really thankful and honored for that. I uh, am thankful. I've been a part of uh, the student unions of UK. I I was myself a student, studied here for one and a half years, did my masters. I was working with a student organization back then, which was called INSA. We played an important role in uh, connecting with students. all over the universities we would go have a cup of tea with them interact with them and listen to their problems with the help of the high commission we would try to resolve them so i'm really grateful and thankful that many such organizations exist and the amount of indian students who are coming to the uk now is increasing every year i was told that more than a lakh students came last year and i see that the number will keep on increasing so it's our responsibility as people from the indian community here to protect them keep them safe the crime rate is increasing though uk is a beautiful place but uh, you know as flag bearers of the indian community we should keep everybody safe happy the indian government is playing an important role to protect all the indians in different parts of the country and different parts of the world as well so with the help of the high commission we can play a very important role in keeping them safe helping them grow and uh, so that they reach home to the parents safely and i am really thankful that you gave me an opportunity to come here all the people who would be receiving the awards would like to congratulate them and uh, i hope we all together keep doing good work and make the country proud thank you for having me thank you very much thank you so much thank you Okay, we'd now like to invite to the stage our other honourable guest, Sir Gaji. If you could come and say a few words, thank you. Let's give him a big round of applause. Namaste, London. Namaste, everyone. I was supposed to speak at the latter part of the program, but now I have been invited, so I'll uh, deliver my speech. It's uh, I want to extend my warm wishes and heartfelt gratitude to the all the people who are who are. attending this award ceremony and of course this is it's a matter of honor for me to attend this award ceremony here and meeting all of you here so i have been associated with iisf since beginning since its inspection and i know the amount of efforts they have put in here to help the indian student out here and they have been doing this for uh, quite long time and last year we we had a, a student meet here and we were able to meet lot of indian students here and we used to uh, share the culture of our country here so main bharat ka rehne wala hu to bharat mein bharat ki bhasha mein hi aapko apni baat batana chahta hu India is the land of Ram and Ram is known for his duties and in India we say it's dharma and nowadays you have must have heard that India is the largest economy in the world and i know when i say this it can amaze it can amaze lot of us here but honestly speaking 
I am proud to represent my country here. And when I am saying this, it reminds me back of Chicago religious summit where a common young man like me, Narendra, have delivered its mesmerizing speech there. And now today when we stand here, I can say that he, now it's a story of India's growth from Narendra to Narendra. Of course, the first Narendra is Swami Vivekananda, and the latter is Shri Narendra Modi, who is our beloved Prime Minister, and the visionary and the architect of Vikshit Bharat. And we were fortunate that under his regime, we were able to become fifth largest economy in the world. And very soon, we are going to climb at spot three there. And that's why we say that in India, we are going on a paradigm shift. Right from world-class infrastructure to last mile delivery to the government schemes, we have reached to moon. And in India, we say, ki hum chanda mama se ab seedhi baat karte hain. And on a lighter note, in uh, Indian diaspora here, and Indians here, we represent India, and it's, of course, it's culture. And we bring here a lot of spices, a lot of foods, right from Italy, dosa, jalebi, fafra, and everything. And I hope that that cooperation and the trust that remains forever, and India and UK relation have been very prosperous and very cooperative since here. And it's a strong friendship, and both the countries have worked for the betterment of the common man of individual countries. And in future, it will thrive and it will grow more faster like before. And one more message when I'm here, I want to give to the global youth of the uh, whole world. In Mahabharata, Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna said that when your hardest hit, when the time is going against you, when things are not happening according to you, at that point of time, at that situation, you don't have to escape. You don't have to leave that situation, but you have to choose right path. And friends, now I think that everyone wants to be right or right. And to in, in today's scenario, there are only two choices. One is right path and one is easy path. And I think today's youth is going totally opposite to it. Today's youth is trying to opt a uh, easy path. It should NRA not. Welfare Society at the House of Lords. Let's give an IG a massive round of applause. Okay, moving on to the next award. Now, this is a consultant general surgeon at the Lister Hospital in Stevenage. He's authored and contributed in over 20 publications in peer-reviewed journals. Notable con contributions leading numerous research projects. He was the Associate Principal Investigator for the game-changing recovery trial for COVID-19. Surgical tutor for Cambridge University and the faculty for the, hey, for the FRCS course at a number of interview panels for national training, number for higher surgical training. Please invite me to the stage, Dr. Suresh Devariji. Thank you very much for choosing me for this award. Or may Aditya Pratap Singh go काफी समय से जानता हूँ तीन साल से और जो काम ये कर रहे हैं वो अतुलनीय है उसका रीजन मैं ये बताऊँ कि बोथ इंडिया एंड यूके आर वंडरफुल कंट्रीज एंड दे शेयर लॉट इन कॉमन लेकिन जब भी कोई नया लड़का यहाँ पर आता है इट्स अ बिग बिग चेंज फॉर हिम और उस समय उसे जो सपोर्ट की जरूरत होती है जो एक सहारे की जरूरत होती है और जो एक मार्गदर्शन की जरूरत होती है क्योंकि इंडिया में जब आप अब्रॉड के लिए ट्राई कर फ्लाई करते हैं आपके फ्रेंड्स और फैमिलीज वहां पर आपको सी ऑफ करने आते हैं यू हैव एटलीस्ट टेन फिफ्टीन पीपल हु आर एट द एयरपोर्ट टू से गुड बाय टू यू एंड वेन यू लैंड हियर एंड ही थ्रो दो बडी तो उस जर्नी को एक 
सीमलेस स्मूथ जर्नी को फैसिलिटेट करने के लिए आदित्य प्रताप सिंह जो कर रहे हैं हेड्स ऑफ टू हिम थैंक यू वेरी मच Just to take a moment to welcome our distinguished guest that has arrived, Ramesh. You're welcome. We'll let you settle in, grab your breath, and we'll move on to the next award. Thank you for joining us. Now it's the UK's customer-focused travel agency that offers luxurious travels. So that's our next award. A community-focused travel agency specialising in travel and tours to the Asia-Pacific, Middle East, as well as the United States of America. It's served over 500 members in the last 12 months. facilitating family reunions secure document delivery and student financial support it structures tours that offer deep authentic cultural experiences and it's piloted initials and unique travel program to suit specific needs of people i'm talking about none other than krish travels do we have somebody here representing krish travels thank you so much now we should we can ask you to join the panel thank you so much <laughs> yeah over the time the style changed so the community was changing i said oh, let me change that <laughs> pressure pressure of work yes no doubt so pleasure to be here uh, ladies and gentlemen and brothers and sisters uh, i com- i dreamed about creating something which can be the day to day life need of the people right like we call it dal bhat in india we need the dal and the rice kind of every day you know in the same way you need the travel in a kind of every month or every few uh, kind of months yeah in that sense uh, i thought that this could be the good connection making uh, it's a connection making journey for me uh, and uh, i have been able to help so many people so many students especially the students uh, iisf yes and i have been deeply associated with iss as well to help these students to split their payment we say that okay if you don't have money don't worry i may have to help you take the ticket take take the uh, whatever dream that you have for the travel and we will split the payment for you you know give it or not give it let's see you know and help never uh, whenever you help someone that never dies yes so that's the goal of my uh, next goal is like helping almost 5000 student in coming 3 years to achieve that dream we will try our level best we have already already helped so many students to go home to take the services and also we are connecting this with education as well the same program so there are many things that we need to talk about and we can discuss later thank you very much thanks a lot for supporting me now as i said we've got our distinguished guest with us lord rami ranger cbe now frsa is a successful businessman who has been honored on eight occasions by her majesty the queen six times for business and twice for british british business and asian community he was made a member of the british empire in 2005 and commander of the british empire in 2016 now rami ji is married to renu and has three beautiful daughters because you know we support women power here don't we ladies yes don't we ladies yes. now ramiji's also set up his first business in 1987 with a mere 2 pound capital from a rented room in hayes with sheer dedication and commitment he now runs two of britain's fastest growing companies with an annual turnover approaching 200 million pounds i think that in itself deserves a round of applause <laughs> His company sustains thousands of British jobs by exporting British supermarket products to over 130 countries. His company Sunmark Limited received the Queen's Award for Enterprise in International Trade for an unprecedented five consecutive years. A unique achievement as no other British company has had this accolade till date. Mark Limited has also been added to the Sunday Times of the most profitable 100 companies in Britain. in profit track 100 he's also the chairman of the british sikh society which pro- which promotes interfaith dialogue for peaceful coexistence and better understanding amongst people of different faiths now practiced in britain to improve social cohesion he's also donated over 250000 pounds to london south bank university to set up the lord rami ranger cbe center for enterprise excellence He's donated over 150,000 pounds to the Euro- University of West London for student hostels and 100,000 pounds was also donated to the Mahatma Gandhi Memorial Trust for the statue that is now in Parliament Square. 
He has helped to raise more than £100,000 for research into the University of West London for student hostels, and £100,000 was also donated to the Mahatma Gandhi Memorial Trust for the statue that is now in Parliament Square. He has helped to raise more than £100,000 for research into a cure for AIDS and cancer at the Northwick Park and the St Mark's Hospital in Harrow. What an achievement. Let's give him a massive round of applause. Yeah. I can't remember all that. Yeah, I just make this. Thank you. And no, no wonder I'm poor. I've given it all my money away. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let me welcome you to the House of Lords Attlee Room. As you can see the picture of the Prime Minister Attlee. I think he was credited to the National Health, yes. if I'm not wrong. Yes. So NHS you enjoy today is the brainchild of that great man. So you, we are very privileged to be in this country and proud to be British citizen because these people from this island have touched the life of almost everyone in the world. Yes? And today, Indian diaspora is one of the most vibrant diaspora in this world for two reasons. First, in the United Kingdom, like in India, Diversity is accepted, respected, and celebrated. Thank you so much. Jack, welcome to the afternoon. Thank you. I hope your journey was pleasant. Thanks. We'd like to invite you onto the stage to say a few words and yep. address uh, the room. I'll do my best. Thank you so much. Let's have a massive round of applause for Jack. Thank you. So many people, when you think of Windsor, which is my constituency, you'll think of the castle, of course you will. You'll probably think of Eton. Um, which is uh, uh, the village just across the river, which has obviously got the school. But what many of you might not know is that the constituency includes a good chunk of Langley and Colnbrook in, in the borough of Slough. And that's got a very heavy density of Indian diaspora in the United Kingdom. Um, and what I would say about my, um, my wards that, 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 that have quite this heavy Indian diaspora is the huge positive contribution that Indians make to our community. And I think that's, that's, that's twofold. I think that's obvious economically. Um, in, in our area, we uh, have a lot of, of headquarters because of Heathrow, that are worldwide headquarters, European headquarters, um, uh, headquarters service, service in North Africa and the Middle East as well. And particularly in the IT industry, the Indians are a significant contributor to that. And Slough, I must say, and maybe don't necessarily quote me on this, some of the diasporas in Slough are not necessarily net contributors to our country. And that is absolutely not true uh, economically of the Indian community. I would also say the Indian community benefit us enormously in terms of our shared cultural values as well. So we like to think of this uh, parliament, but also this island as the mother of parliaments. But India, very much, is a, is a country with its own ancient heritage but it also is the world's largest democracy and it shares a lot of the values which underpin us, whether that's the rule of law, uh, whether that's constitutional democracy. And you see that in the Indian diaspora in the UK who integrate well, um, they add something, a new dimension uh, to our country, but they also contribute to it in a positive way, in a way that I think very much aligns um, with our values. So what all I would say is, you know, thank you for that contribution. I hope that the UK and India's relationship is closer into the future. Lord Ranger just talked about the free trade agreement. I hope that that does, uh, that does come to pass. But obviously, as the 20 to 20 seconds, as we move ourselves into the next century, it's clear that India is going to be our leading light in that century, if not the leading light. And I'm hoping that the United Kingdom and India can work together on our common values and our common interests in that journey together. So thank you for that com contribution within this country, but I hope that we can also work together as nations into the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, yeah. Thanks so much, Jack. Before you get too comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, Harishi, and thank you, Vikal, for being here. Yeah. Uh, you really gave, gave some very wonderful nuggets of wisdom. 
So I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, the Rajasthan Association UK excels in fostering the Rajasthani culture, education, and addressing essential needs, mobilizing volunteers, and leveraging donors generously to make a significant impact in the community. They effectively reach out to individuals and organizations, enriching cultural understanding and providing vital resources within the community. Their unwavering commitment to community support and cultural preservation is truly commendable and today we're here to honour them. If we can have the representation from the Rajasthani Association UK, please make your way to the stage. Thank you. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you. I'm a man of few words <laughs> because I practice it at home a lot. <laughs> My life gives me very good practice. Um, thank you. Thanks a lot to Aditi Bina and everyone. Uh, I think sometimes I believe when you do seva, you do not really need an appreciation. I believe when Karna used to give daan. He used to say, if I'm giving daan from left hand side, my right hand should not know. So as a true Rajasthani Rajput, I believe, uh, once Akbar offered Jamal that, please give me the key of Chittor food, then Jamal said, Bhuka na mete mer to na mete na gor, Bhuka na mete mer to na mete na gor, ya rajwat bhuka no khadi marya mete chittor, means being a Rajasthani, we will not be satisfied with small riyasat of Nagor or Merta. We will be satisfied when we will die in the war in Chittor. So this is we have a dying spirit. So thanks a lot to all of you. Thank you. weekly round of members itna hi. Agle hafte fir milungi aise kuch programs aur events ke saath. Ab tak liye dekhte rahiye MTV because it's your channel of choice.